Hey there gorgeous and a very happy Frugal Friday to you. I hope that you've had a great week. It's such a pleasure to see you. So if you missed it, I asked on my Instagram stories this past week for your number one makeup product of the moment from the drugstore and I received so many responses. Thank you so much to everyone who took the time to respond. And I can honestly tell you, I've not tried any of these. What was funny was that a lot of you responded with some of my favorites, <laughs> which was awesome, but I'm like, I'm trying not to use my favorites or anything I've ever used before. I wanna try something new. So this is a full face of new stuff that you recommended and I'm so excited for this video. And I'm working on changing the background. So hopefully by next week, it will look a little different because it's September. I love fall out of all the seasons of the year. I think fall is my favorite, even though I don't get to see leaves anymore. It's still my favorite. I make leaves in my house, you know what I mean? First thing I am going to do is apply an eyeshadow primer and zoom your cute little butt in. Come on in, come on in. Hello. Out of all the products that were recommended, there wasn't a specific eyeshadow recommendation. Some people had like CoverGirl eyeshadow palettes and then someone said Profusion eyeshadow palettes, but there wasn't one specifically named. So while I was in Target, I came across these new eyeshadow blocks that Maybelline has put out and I ran a poll on Instagram also asking which one you wanted to see me do for this video and they were a tie. <laughs> so I'm going to be using both of them in a future video I have some new makeup I'm working on and so what I'm going to do is I'll include the purple one in that future video but I have a rather bold lipstick today so I'm choosing to go with the neutral one and this is what it looks like up close. There are three eyeshadows in here. And this is more of the neutral copper looking one. Isn't that really cool? They're taking after Morphe with the design of this little palette, but that's what it looks like. Taking that first shade from this little palette, looks to be a matte pink. I'm going to apply this to the inner half of the lid. There were only four colors from what I remember seeing in the display. There was a really light neutral one that looked like the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells palette. Very, very neutral. There was this one. Oops obviously I can't talk and hold makeup at the same time. There was the purple one that I picked up and there was a, I wanna say it was blue, but it was out of stock. Next I'm taking this coppery shade from the middle of the palette. And this has more shimmer in it compared to the first one. I'm going to apply that to the outer half of the lid. And the pigment is pretty good with these so far. I mean, the pink that you're seeing there on the inner corner, that was with one light layer of the eyeshadow. I didn't apply more than that. So, I mean, you could build it up if you wanted to. And at last, I'm taking that deep shade from the bottom of the palette. No idea how deep this is gonna go, but we'll find out. And I'm going to apply that to the crease. And hopefully, it's a good blender, because that is a dark shade. <laughs> Ooh. Sometimes when you're applying a dark shade like this in the crease, if you take a very small amount and you work on only the crease, like I'm doing right here. So get a majority of the eyeshadow in the crease area. Then you can go and wipe your brush on a paper towel or whatever you have on your desk. Use what is existing in that crease and then blend it up. And that eliminates the mistake of applying too much. Now that I have that applied, I'm gonna go back with my blending brush and go over the edges, blend it out. It's not bad. I mean, this is pretty good, especially for Maybelline. I feel like their quality suffered years ago and recently they've started to get a little bit better. And I'm thinking specifically of that soda pop palette. Do you remember that one that had the purples in it and like some other beautiful warm shades in it? That was really good. I thought it was, but before that, I wasn't happy with Maybelline eyeshadows. Now for eyeliner today, I'm also taking that dark shade from the palette and I'm going to use it with my MAC 263 brush and use that as eyeliner. Okay, pretty good from what I can tell so far. The pigment was easy to apply and I didn't struggle with blending and overall pretty good. Our friend by the name of Soul at Savakis recommended the Milani Weekend Brow. So I went into Target looking for this one and sadly the Target that I went into did not have a good selection of colors. So I ended up getting the one called Medium Brown. But what this is, is it's a pen 
microblading kind of pen, which I have never heard of this one before, but you know, hey, <laughs> I don't get out much. I'm more interested in the quality of the pen though, not the color. So we'll go ahead and apply this. Wow, look at that. That looks amazing. And you know, the color isn't bad at all. As long as I use a light hand with it, it, it looks really, really amazing. I love this. Great recommendation. Thank you for that. Let's hope I can make them match. <laughs> I'm trying two mascaras today because, hey, I got two eyes, so I figured, why not? <laughs> the first one is recommended to us from Anna Lauren, and it's the Pacific Pacifica. Stellar Gaze Mascara. And this is a brand that you can find at Target. By the way, I want to say to Melinda, you had recommended the L'Oreal Double Extreme Mascara. I did pick that one up. It's too bad I don't have three eyes. I am gonna be testing it in a future video. So thank you for that recommendation. I just wanted to call you out. But the other mascara that I am testing out in today's video came as a recommendation from Gabby Vargas, and it is the NYX On The Rise Volume Lift Scara. First things first, I am going to curl my eyelashes. And if anyone is interested in this curler, this is the one from Surratt Beauty. I love it because it is bigger than traditional eyelash curlers. It doesn't pinch and it does a great job of curling the lashes. All right, trying the NYX mascara on this eye. Woo, goodness, that one went right on. I could see it instantly. Okay, okay, that's really, really good. It does a lot of thickening to the lashes. Not so much lengthening from what I can see, but I mean, the pigment was extreme with it. The second I put it on my lashes, it was like bang. And the Pacifica on this side, I'm loving the wand, by the way. I love wands like this. Some people don't, but I do. <laughs> the formula with this one is really good. It has a lot of great separation to it. There is no clumping at all with the formula and I can see why you like it because it does lengthen. There's not as much volume with this one, but you know what, I bet, I bet you if I were to pair this one up with this one, <laughs> it would be perfect because this one has a lot of volume and then this one has that length that this one is missing. So. I mean, these are two great choices. I Next time I try them, I'm gonna put them together. I did add lashes. These are from my lash line in the style Fresh, and I also applied some of the mascaras over the top. So on this lash, I did apply the NYX mascara and the Pacifica on this one, just to give a little more thickness and length to the lashes. They're great all by themselves, but sometimes I like to add a little something extra because I'm like that. And once I get my face done, I am also going to be adding those mascaras on my lower lashes, just to let you know in advance, if even if I don't show it to you. Our friend, the Sandra Bones, recommended the foundation that I'll be using today. This is from number seven. It's the Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced All-in-One Foundation. This is medium coverage. It does have an SPF of 50 in it. And when she said that in the comments, she said an SPF 50. I was in Target looking at all the different foundations from number seven, and this one had 20, this one had 15, and that 50 was what stood out to me. I was like, it has to be the one with 50. Sure enough, I found it, but I didn't even know they made a foundation with an SPF of 50 in it. So that was really awesome to discover. The shade that I'm using, by the way, is the one called Calico, and before I applied this, I did apply the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Moisturizer, because I love it. And this blends in like a dream. It's like a BB cream. I mean, it did say medium coverage, but it's acting like a tinted moisturizer. And there is hardly any, I mean, I don't have to do much blending at all. This is sinking right into the skin. And it looks lovely, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, I love this. By the way, I do want to mention that it wasn't for lack of trying. A lot of the products that you recommended, I could not find. And I went to Walgreens, CVS, Target, Walmart, just could not find them. So I may have to do an advanced 
type video where I order online and that type of thing because things in the store, I mean, you know, they're getting harder to find. In terms of concealer, there weren't really any concealer recommendations of things I haven't tried before, but what was funny is that a lot of you were recommending the Catrice True Skin uh, concealer, the one that I have been talking about a lot lately, and this is the one that I have been using consistently myself. So I'm going to use that one today. House of Denver recommended the NYX Wonder Stick, and the shade that I'm showing you here is Fair. This has a contour shade on one side and a highlighter on the other. And when I was in Walmart, I noticed that they also came out with these Wonder Sticks in blushes. So I picked one up for a future video, but that looks really cool too. All right, going down the side of the face here. Oh, it's cool toned. I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Brush Putty, what do you call this thing? <laughs> putty Primer Applicator to blend this in because it's a really densely packed brush. I was going to say blush. And it's really great for blending in cream products like this. Oh my gosh, that is just beautiful. Look at that. And it blended right in. I didn't struggle at any point with the blending of that. That is absolutely beautiful. And for the highlight, we'll go ahead and add that on the top of the cheeks there, and I'll just blend that in with my finger. That is absolutely beautiful. I love this. Why didn't I try this sooner? Thank you for that recommendation. From Anya the Great, she recommended trying out the Honest Blushes, which I've never tried anything from the Honest brand before. And by the way, this is another one like Pacifica that you can find in Target stores. So I chose this one. It's a creme cheek and lip color in the shade Rose Pink. So taking that same putty applicator brush, I'm going to apply that. Oh, look at that. Goodness. You don't need much <laughs> with these, but wow, that is really beautiful. Okay, I really like these now too. Look at that. They remind me of the Florence by Mills cream blushes that I am obsessed with at the moment. I love those things. If I put it on my lips, I just want to see what it looks like on my lips. That is really, really nice. I'm loving that. The last recommended product I had to test out with this video came from Rose Michelle, and she said the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Liquid Lipsticks have been her go-to makeup products. I picked up a rather bold shade because they did not have any <laughs> on the less intense spectrum, but it looked really good based on everything I could see in the display and I mean it's intense look at this <laughs> whoa I don't know I don't know if that's gonna work today so what I'm going to do is I would thank you first of all Rose Michelle for making that recommendation I really truly appreciate it and I did get one I'm going to include this in a future video because I am working on a whole video right now of new makeup products that have come out and that'll be coming out next week so I'll include it in that video I really just love the lips with these eyes today. And I feel like the whole look is very cohesive and really beautiful, really, really beautiful. So that is everything for this video. Very special thank you to all of you who sent in your favorite makeup items. I wish I could have included them all in this video. We're going to be doing more like this though. So if you want to participate in the future, if you missed out this time, we are gonna be doing plenty more. Head on over to Instagram, follow me on there. I've been posting reels. I'm going to be trying to post reels every day during the week, so five short little videos throughout the week on Instagram. Just funny stuff, you know, parenting, humor, that type of stuff, because I'm just not a serious type. But anyway, if you wanna follow me over there, feel free. I'm also gonna be running polls and doing questions and that type of thing to get your feedback on future videos. So it would be a great way for you to participate. And I would love to see you over there. Thank you again for being here, for taking the time to watch. I want to wish you a beautifully blessed weekend ahead. I speak love, I speak life, I speak peace and joy into you and into your home. And I hope that you have a beautiful weekend ahead.